Greetings, LHS, and welcome back to your Blue Devil News. I'm Dylan. And I'm Anthony. Spanish Cove will have a holiday party on Friday, December 14th at 2.30 p.m. in room B315. Talk to Ms. Corella if you plan on attending. LHS magazine submissions are due this Wednesday. They need to be brought to Miss Murray in room B106 or Miss Upshur in room A102. You may also email them to the Lebanon High School Book Club email. Additionally, there are book club meetings held every Wednesday. Attention, all HOSA members. If you're wanting to participate in Healthcare Night with the Preds, the cost is $65 and the money is due before Christmas break. You need to go see Miss Ward for more details. GSA will be having their winter celebration next Tuesday, December 18th in Miss Robertson's room, B213. Ask Miss Robertson or any GSA members for details. And now let's throw it to the weather. It's your boy Toasty, and I'm back with today's weather. I know we were expecting some snow, but we'll get into that later. Today, we will have a high of 40 and a low of 25 with a 20% chance of rain. Tomorrow, we will have a high of 47 and a low of 31. And Wednesday, we will have a high of 51 and a low of 43. Now let's go over to our to our high Doppler reader. Now, as we see here, we don't have a whole lot of precipitation in the area. But if we go over to the Carolinas, we see that they're hogging it all. Christmas time is coming near. The weather you heard first here. This has been your boy Toasty with your high Doppler reader and your seven-day forecast. Thank you, Toasty. The Science Olympiad will meet Tuesday the 11th at 2.30 p.m. in Miss Otis's room C-105. Everyone needs to attend and you need to bring your fee money. FFA members, we're collecting toys for Wilson County's Christmas for All. Please bring in your unwrapped toy to one of the ad classrooms today. The Blue Devil Bank has freshman, sophomore, and junior class shirts on sale. The sophomore shirts are $20 for short sleeve comfort colors and the long sleeve regular shirts are $15. Please stop by the bank to see a picture and pre-order your shirts before the Christmas break. There are also GSA, FCA, Football Homecoming, and Lebanon High School shirts available for purchase for only $15. If you need a place to work, study, use a Chromebook, or need help writing, the Writer's Room will be open today from 2.30 to 3.30 in room B211. If you want a yearbook with your name stamped on the cover, then you must order it by December 31st. Hey guys, I'm Logan, and I'm here with your LHS Sports Update. Saturday evening, the JV Devilettes defeated Hendersonville 59 to 40 and Gallatin by a score of 56 to 22. Our boys basketball team lost Friday night at Mount Juliet by a score of 56 to 42. Junior Jeremiah Hastings led the Blue Devils with 13 points. The boys and girls will be back in action tomorrow night at Hendersonville with the girls game starting at 6:30. There's a boys only freshman game tonight against Hendersonville here at 6 p.m. The undefeated Lady Devils are hosting the District 12 Tournament today, December 10th, starting with the semifinal round at 1 p.m. District awards are at 3 p.m. and finals to follow at 3.30. Please release the Lady Devils at 11 a.m. from class. This should give them enough time to gather their things, leave, eat lunch, and arrive at Pro Bowl by 12.15. Wish them good luck as they go for another District 12 championship. Saturday night, the Nashville Predators took on the Calgary Flames in their final meeting of the season. The Predators were looking to pick up a win after falling to the Canucks on Thursday. This game concluded their short two-game road trip. Unfortunately, the Preds fell short by a score of 5-2. The Preds dropped to fourth in the league standings and second in the Western Conference. The Predators travel back to Bridgestone Arena to face off against the Ottawa Senators Tuesday evening as the Preds look to return to the win column. We have more basketball news for you today. After a tight win against the Pelicans on Friday, the Grizzlies traveled back home as they concluded their second half of their back-to-back. -back. This time, they faced off against the LA Lakers. Unfortunately, they fell by a score of 111-88. to Grizzlies tip off tonight at 8 p.m. against the Denver Nuggets as they currently stand in sixth place in the Western Conference. Today, there is no Titans news, but before we jump to conclusions, Dallas Cowboys took on the Philadelphia Eagles in an NFC East divisional matchup. This game required an overtime quarter, and 
without any disappointment, the Cowboys emerged victoriously by a score of 29-23. to They moved to 8-5 on the season and face off against the Indianapolis Colts on December 16th. That's all I have for you today, LHS. Thank you, Logan, from the movie Logan. Seniors, here are a few announcements, so be sure to listen up. The FASFA deadline is quickly approaching. We are having another FASFA event at LHS on Monday, January 14th from 12 to 4 in the library so that we can help students and parents complete it. You can stop in guidance if you have more questions about the FASFA. Senior ads are on sale until December 15th. You can pick up an order form from Ms. Peterson's room and your senior quotes need to be turned in ASAP. Make sure that the Blue Devil Bank has your height and weight for your gown and your senior fee of $75. They are both due by February 28th. The bank is now taking payments. You can pay here at school or online. They will need to they will need they will need your information so that they can order the correct size for your cap and gown. You will also have to sign off on the spelling of your name to ensure that your diploma is correct. This is the last day for the annual canned food drive. Be sure you bring in the last of your cans during second block. Well, that's it for today, LHS. I'm Dylan. And I'm Anthony.